Let's see what happens if I... Wow, that was disappointing. Is he coming straight for me? He's coming straight for me. I would prefer not to! I'm sorry, Father. I lost him. <laughs> no, you haven't. You're right here. Holy shit! That was not how I expected that going. Okay. Embrace his flame. Yeah, I'm just gonna back off now. Oh shit. Fire bad! Fire bad! Fire bad! Ow! I also forget that it's kind of got. I guess he has a melee attack. <laughs> it was kind of shaped oddly. Okay, so I don't know what to perceive of this. Uh, his tank doesn't seem to have any sustained damage to it. I think I got him. Whoa, nope, I did not. Now we got him. Wait, hold on. He's just done. Fuck! No! Dude, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Fucker. Ow. All right, I deserve that. Alright, that's all I needed. Here, have an explosive. Here, have another one. Dude, these guys take even more fucking damage than I was ever expecting. This is ridiculous. I need you to be dead, damn it! Thank God! And then he dropped into the pile. Which is actually gonna be, uh, maybe slightly inconvenient. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I didn't know if I was gonna have to move into the fire in order to get it. God damn! I was, uh... I'll be honest, I was a little... I was underestimating the enemy a little bit. I figured, hey! I'd probably just shoot out his tank, and he'll... Blow up instantly, and I don't have to worry about him. And then I put a lot of bullets into his tank, and it was honestly probably a waste. Flamethrower, flamethrower fuel tank. The flamethrower that was taken, uh, that this was taken from, was da damaged beyond repair. Two of these would be sufficient to replace the tanks of an otherwise functional flamethrower. Okay, so I guess one of the other weapons I can get is a flamethrower. Don't really like flamethrowers in video games, mostly because you kind of they're usually things where you like have to sit there, spray fire an enemy, and hope that they die before they can hit you, and considering that you a lot of times can't stun lock enemies in this game, even with, like, headshots, that's gonna be a little, it's gonna be very risky for me. Still, whatever, we'll try it out. Uh, oh, great. Fire over here! Eh? No, well, just more, more gunpowder, I'll take it. Will this allow me to get around the... Oh, hey! Shotgun pouch! That's random, but okay. Is will this allow me to get around the tree? No! Shit. That is very disappointing. Okay, if I want that, that herb, I gotta go the long way. Son of a bitch. That's so close! And yet so far... You know, at least there isn't a giant eyeball looming over this area. I mean, it doesn't feel all that much better because there's fire and because it's a sunset along with there being fire, it kind of melds together in a little bit more of a sinister tone than the sunset usually ends up kind of providing. But, well... At least we shouldn't run into any more saw things. 
Storage room P used. Why was it even locked again in the first place? Ooh. Are all, is everything gonna get replenished? Holy shit, that's awesome! <gasps> We're getting so much stuff, which is good because I used so much stuff in that last fight. Wow, even another high grade weapons part. I don't know how to feel about that. That feels more like a glitch, if anything, but fuck it. More upgrades, or at least more upgrade trees for me to be able to go down. If we get the gunpowder for it. Or the, uh, not gunpowder, the, the weapon parts. Okay. We're gonna go back into the base for a quick second because coffee. And maybe a workbench? Is there a workbench immediately in here? Mm, nope. Alright, fine. I'm gonna have to go into the workbench inside my safe room. <sighs> These enemies are gonna get dicey. But at least we can help outside, and we can get quite a good few rewards. Especially, uh, gel and weapon parts, that's what I'm caring about. Okay. What do we have? We need to create more bullets. I am still sad that we do not have... ...an upgradable ability... ...that allows me to reduce the cost of certain items. Obviously, you know, you can always lower the difficulty. That's different from just having an ability that's really useful. And not really an ability, but just like a statistic upgrade. Like, we can flat out upgrade our damage. And in some games, they just say, hey, you have a higher chance to do X. You have a higher chance of... ...of... ...using less ammo or something in the middle of crafting. But, no. Oh well. We have fucking nothing. Ugh. Well, if I get into any shitty scenarios, I'll just have to think my my way out of them, right? Like I've been doing anyways. Stabby stab, right in the back. But now I know how dangerous these flamethrower dudes are. So, not gonna attack any of those unless I have just. A ton of ammo. I don't think I can sneak kill those guys either. Alright. Well, besides the fact that... We're probably not gonna get any more, uh, crazy... Combined monsters because of Stefano being dead... I, I, I think I prefer burned corpses over everything else, so it's fine. The only problem is the danger that is provided by there being flaming bodies around the place. Gotta watch out for that. Uh... That's... kind of random, but alright. He dropped a smoke bolt at my foot, or at my feet. One that I couldn't use myself. Uh, what the fuck is that? Right there? That's new. That is not something we've encountered before. Ugh. Also, I like how they prevent us from going back in the theater. Yeah, okay. Sure. Alright, let's try something out. Whoops. I wanna try out the silence pistol. Oh, no, no! Oh, shit. I didn't mean to actually reload that. Well... That sucks. It does less damage! I gotta... I gotta avoid accidentally using it all. I mean, I'm using it right now, but, yeah, no, I gotta watch out for, uh... 
reloading any more bullets into it. That thing's probably gonna fucking explode or some shit. Come on, Predator. Aha! Oh fuck, that's another flamethrower, dude. Oh, thank god he didn't see me. Nope, he did! He fucking saw me! Ah! Okay, I thought he was gonna, like, flamethrower into the air for the... to be intimidating. False. I was wrong. Did he lose sight of me? Oh, wow. Thank you. Oh, I, I think that's changed. That or he's just flaming around for the sake of it. That has happened a couple of times. Okay. Well, this will be interesting. There is, uh, there are cars near these guys. And I think if, I think if I blow, uh, if I think if I shoot them, they'll blow up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to hit him! Oh, fuck! That's what I wanted to do. Fuck. You cannot escape us. If I can do some explosive damage to him, it'll be like when we're dealing with the saw blade chicks. I can save a lot more ammo by blowing them up. It just takes a lot of effort to lead them around. And well, we just wasted one of the explosives, so that sucks. He fucking walked right into it, man. My bottle. And that just immediately was like, Well, I guess I know where he is now. So what the fuck is this guy about? <laughs> Nothing is pleasant about this place. Okay, I don't know what he does, but he's either a really tough enemy or he's an explosive enemy. Maybe even both. Hello! I wish to be introduced to what you're capable of. Yeah. Okay, good lesson. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm so close! <laughs> okay, we were able to abuse the concrete barrier. Good stuff. Alright. While I want to deal with the flamethrower dude, I am also fine with not doing anything about him for now. I need to go back over this wall. Come on, I need you to keep walking about. And don't look behind you. What? Okay. I can't do that. <laughs> At all. I feel ripped off about that, but okay. Well, I'm casually walking off. Uh-oh. <laughs> what happens if a flame dude walks into a bush? 
This might hurt. Sneak kill! Oh, thank god! If I'd been like a couple inches closer, bad to- bad touch. Alright, bastard fucking jumping over a fence. Alright. I'll leave these guys around. Hey, do you see me? He cannot actually. That also works for me. No ammo spending. Ooh, I gotta go. <laughs> he didn't see me fucking jump over the fence over here. Hey, there's noise over here. Yeah, I wouldn't reach him. Stay exactly like that. Fuck it then. Give me the sniper pouch. It's fully upgraded. Come on, stop dicking around. Alright, fuck it. Oh, he's coming this way! Whew! Didn't expect that. He's looking in the exact direction I don't want him to be looking! What? What?! What did I just do?! So I press space to initiate the predator thing, and uh, it didn't work out. <laughs> I press space, I started the sprint, and uh, oh boy. Oh shit, hey guys! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, he fucking missed! Shit! Damn it! They're fucking wailing into me, dude. I hate these assholes. Oh, I'm on fire, so I'm invincible for a little bit. Well, I mean, they're not completely invincible, but... They're way more annoying to kill. Thank you! How you like that, apples? I shot off your arm! Whoop! Son of a fuck, dude. Whoa! That- that's actually pretty legit. He used the fact that I took off his arm to launch fire at me. Cool. Although, I feel a little ripped off. Where's the gel? Where's the gel, man? We went through all that effort. Oh, god damn it. If I- if- I don't know what the hell happened with the- with the- with the failed dash, besides the fact that it failed, that 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 much is pretty obvious. It's just a bit of a nuisance that it happened. Okay, well, let's go into Sykes' safe room. Let's see what he's about. What's going on here? I also need to have a little bit of coffee because we took damage, too much damage. Hey, Sykes. You're here. Good. What's going on, Sykes? I'm sort of busy here. Hey, you're the one who told me to call you before I left. You found your back door. Check it out. Congrats. You'll have to show me how to use it if I need to get Lily out later. Fair enough, but here's the deal. I'm gonna need you to help me get out of here first. Help you? I don't know anything about how these computers work, Sykes. That's not what I need help with. I hacked the servers to access a restricted area of STEM. There's a pod in there that I'm gonna use to get out of here. Problem is, the power's out. And there are a bunch of those things in there too. 
Dam collapse is affecting the deepest parts of STEM. You get the power back on and clear the place out for me, I can get the hell out of here. Again, what's in it for me? I'll show you how to use the pod before I go. How's that? Okay. Worth a try, I guess. Thanks, man. Call me when it's all clear. Alright, well, that's good. Also, I'm glad you survived. I gotta tell you, I was surprised to hear from you. Tell me about it. I've been lying low to solve this back door thing, but I stuck my head out there a few times. Things are going nuts. What's happening out there? There's a maniac who's trying to take over Union. You were smart to stay in here. Otherwise, you might have ended up flayed and tortured. Sounds grim. Think I'll pass. What's worse is that the guy wants to get his hands on Lily. Well, if this plan works out, you'll be able to get her to safety once you find her. How did a guy like you end up in Mobius in the first place? A guy like me? What are you trying to say? I'm saying that you've got heart and a backbone. Seems they prefer their operatives to be either cold reptiles or unquestioning followers. You're neither. What did you think I meant? Uh, nothing. Never mind. You know, I actually searched them out to try and join. It wasn't easy either. They know how to hide their tracks. Why would you do that? They're only the most powerful organization in the history of the world, dude. Why wouldn't I? And you don't consider what they do to be criminal? Hey, it's only criminal when it's enforced. <laughs> you know what they say. Quis custodiat, ipsos custodes. Right? Uh, sure. I'll... I'll take your word for it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that meant either. <laughs> so we just we just accepted. Uh, access the experimental wing of the marrow. Clear out any enemies and get the power on. Sure. Ugh. I don't know if I want to do that first or or later. We'll probably do that now, since it'll probably be easier to deal with things inside of there than it is to deal with stuff out here. Gosh. All right. I need a workbench. I need a workbench. And I think I'm going to throw down some upgrades. Because, whoo! We are at a thousand weapon parts, holy shit. <laughs> Things are good here. Now if only I could be at a th thousand gunpowder! That would work out. Okay. Let us upgrade things a little bit. Or actually first. We're going to make some harpoon bolts. Now, here's where we get to have a problem. The harpoon bolts that I'm about to upgrade seem to, uh, now that I'm starting to use them, seem to run out pretty quickly. So that's not going to be good for us. I'm going to need to save them for special occasions. But I want that damage. I want, <laughs> I want what it's got for me, man. Blam! Bolt fully upgraded. Harpoons become wreathed in flame, causing enemy struck to be set ablaze. So if I don't land a headshot, but I still land a normal shot, good things will happen. And then, in terms of the gel things, yeah, there probably there's probably at least one thing I could buy with twelve thousand gel. Ah. How may I assist you? Can you not do that? You know I can't see anything that's in here until I get into the wheelchair. Okay. With... ...thish many points, I could... ...go down this tree, and unlock the next vitality thing. Save me a couple of troubles in some areas, or... ...we can start to go for a bullet cascade. I wonder what this is, this is useful for. Honestly, your footsteps provide even produce less noise. Does this mean like I, I wish it would clarify Does it apply to all of my footsteps to the point that like I can sprint up right behind the enemy? Or does it only apply to like say crouching and stuff like that? It would make sense if it's like oh hey you, if you can you can walk closer to an enemy before they actually like go What's going on over there, but I have no idea Okay. Well, in terms of what we have remaining... I definitely want to get... ...going into the bullet cascade tree, so we'll save up for that. 
However, before we save up for that, I'm gonna also put a point into the vitality tree. There. Now, the more times I get hit, it won't matter. How am I ever going to get these nails right if you keep interrupting my manicure? Well, lady, you've had a long time to get your manicure done. Unless you only pop into existence when I have vision of you. Then, yeah, I guess at that point, maybe. Maybe you're gonna be a little bit more on the screwed side. Okay. Hey, kitty. I got another slide to watch. Alright, what do we got here? Kidman, it's me. Read you loud and clear, Sebastian. Mobius. A name. That was all I had to go on. Every avenue I pursued led to a dead end. And now I find out that they're everywhere. Hidden in plain sight. I don't understand how. I told you before. You don't find Mobius unless they want you to. They've been around for a long, long time. They know what they're doing. We knew you were looking. We were watching you. And we were able to stop you every time you got too close. Why? Why do they do this? People need leadership. People choose leaders. What Mobius wants to do isn't leadership. It's imprisonment. They know this. If they own all the media and politicians already, they should be out in the open. They hide in the shadows because they know what they're doing is evil. If people knew the truth, they'd burn Mobius to the ground. Maybe you're right. But if people ever did find out the truth, who would believe them? Yeah. The easiest way to hide a conspiracy is to make people think there's no such thing as a conspiracy. Well, I mean, yes, but there's a lot of damning evidence. If you, you know, if they don't cover it all up. We just need to somehow bring all that out. I mean, yeah, I don't know how many times you'd be able to tell people there's an organization, completely secret, and they're creating machines that can completely control. All right, let's do this before I get cold feet. Hundreds to thousands of people, maybe even millions of people, wirelessly, and connect them all to a fake world. I wouldn't believe that either at first. But surely there's gotta be a lot of common threads. I mean, my wife was able to like find out information about them. Kidman's like, oh, you don't find them. They find you. Or they don't, they, you, you can't find them unless they want you to find them. But was that really the case with Myra? They took our daughter. Why would they be like, well, I guess we could also recruit her too. Now that she's found out about us. No idea. What is that? Oh, it's just a Mobius dude. Where am I? We are, well, in an area that I don't think we've ever been in before. It's an experimental wing. Looks abandoned. Spooky. Abandoned. Just gotta take care of whatever's down here and get the power back on. Damn it. Okay. Gotta get the power on so I can open these doors. I hear... Some enemies beyond this door. Oh, I see some enemies beyond this door. Oh boy. I wonder how many of these Mobius operatives are, uh, gonna end up getting up. This guy's not. <laughs> I can tell you that. Alright. Oh, it won't let me pull out my gun down here. Damn it. I wanted to see what my my bolt looks like when it's wreathed in flames. Woo! Nice. That's really cool. Did they see me? We had some spooky music, but it might just be spooky music for the sake of being spooky music. Oh no, he saw me. Hey, how you doing? Flop! Get the fuck 
and get behind the wall. Damn it, Sebastian. Alright, fine. I want to shoot a lady in the face with a pistol anyways. And just in case she gets too close, I got an axe! <laughs> I wanted to get behind one of these things and, like, sneak strike them, but they wouldn't let me get around the corner. Oh, now it will let me! <laughs> Dermot. Can I open this from here? Nope, still gotta get the power on. Alright. <laughs> that was cool, though. Seeing the enemy just explode in flames, even if it was not really a useful thing to do. Also, I realize the power is just over here. Huh. Thought we were gonna have to go a lot further into this place. Okay. There you go. It's one, two, four again. Make sure there are no enemies and call Sykes from the pod. Oh, fuck me. Hey, guys! It's a good thing there's still a vent here. Away, they won't know we're here if we don't make noise. We have to abuse the fact that we have a safe zone inside of this area. I'm totally obvious, dude, <laughs> but we'll take it. What it did it again? That's such a bizarre thing that can happen. Oh shit. That's a lot of people. So like, sometimes if you hold down space, I guess you can do like a tackle or something? It's not really well established. Hey, how you doing? Stab. Okay. I don't want to use the other axe on this lady. Because it could save our life on the outside. So we'll just carry that around with us. Spooky. Oh, she saw me! Too bad you can't get access over here! You're gonna have to go the long way around, and when you actually catch up over here, we just leave. Alright, now if I could get behind this box, that's all I'm looking for. Right, this, this, there we go, that's it! You can do it, you just sometimes have to fiddle with the, the controls a little bit. You just have to like stare at it and go, please, please give me access to the wonderful cover of this little generator power box thing. And then sometimes the game will go, yeah, all right. It is, it is sizable enough that you can hide behind it. <sighs> okay. Now with all those guys, and, uh, I think killing all of them stealthily, air quotes, makes up the fact that I, I, I shot a few bullets I didn't need to. Are we good? I think so. None of the Mobius guys ended up being... This is it, then. ...people. Better call Sykes. At least not alive people.
Thanks, man. Wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Are you sure this is gonna work? No, but staying in here isn't gonna do me any good. Anything is worth a try at this point. Okay, it's all set. When you bring Lily back here, there's a timer right here. Turn it a quarter rotation, and then you just press this button. It'll give you 60 seconds to climb into the pod. You both should be able to fit in it together. I don't know, Sykes. I got a bad feeling about this. Look, man, I know what I'm doing, okay? Maybe you should hold off on this. Help me find Lily, and then we can all find another way out of here. I feel for you, man. I really do. But I'm doing the best thing I can do for you by getting this pod operational. Okay. If you say so. It probably leads to a Wish bad like end. Sebastian. Good luck, Sykes. Hope you don't die immediately outside. Thanks, man. I left you something in there for helping me. I'm not gonna need it where I'm going. See you on the other side, Sebastian. I hope. I hope he doesn't just, like, explode into blood and guts everywhere. He's gone. He's at least teleported away. He's gone. I wonder if it worked. Maybe he's actually made it out. Mission complete, the last step. Okay. Now, here's a problem. <laughs> what are we going to do about Myra? Or Torres? Ooh. Another shotgun! Double-barreled shotgun. Twice the barrels, twice the buckshot, twice the damage. Light and sturdy, but needs to be reloaded more often. Shotgun clip with capacity upgrades do not apply to this weapon. Ooh. Well, that's something useful if uh, we ever get into a really bad situation and there's just a really tough enemy in front Our of us. Our attempt to use a stem pod as an emergency exit port has been declared a failure. Oh shit. Despite a 25% success rate, the decision has been made to discontinue research. One in four test subjects made the trip back successfully. The other three simply ceased to be. We believe that the other 75% have been lost in an uncharted sublevel of STEM. A dream within a dream, from which there is no known way to return. Due to the number of unknown factors, the experiment has been abandoned. 25% chance of success. I'm not going to risk Lily's life like that. Hope Sykes is out in the real world. One in four chance. Maybe he'll get lucky. I hope he gets lucky. He seemed like a pretty alright dude. But holy shit. He couldn't have listened to that before he went through that? <laughs> Doubt he would have been so gung-ho if he had heard one in four chance to get out. Three in four chance to just stop existing. Yeah, no. Fuck any of that noise. I would never take a risk like that, unless I was truly, absolutely desperate. And, to be fair, this is a pretty shitty situation to be in. But yeah, he he could have waited. He could have waited for us to save Lily, and then we could decide from there. Or he could have waited until, like, oh shit, the enemies know I'm here and they're beating on my room. I'm gonna go in and go into the pod. But instead, he's just, he's, he's been pretty safe, things are pretty, pretty chill. Besides the flame dudes now outside the out of the side of the, the entire area. And now he might just not exist anymore. Well, he exists. He just he either got out, in which case now he has to try and escape from Mobius, or he made it or he didn't get out, and he's now just stuck in a place that by the end of all of this, we're hopefully gonna have not exist anymore, right? I mean it's our general goal to stop Stem from existing, and so at that point we might just end up killing him by accident. Which would suck. Which would really suck. 